welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my boyfriend's shoe collection or sneaker collection. I'm going to be showing most of his shoes. I'm not going to be showing every single shoe because he has a lot of like old Vans and really old shoes that are totally beaten. So not going to be sharing everything but most of the shoes are here and I'm going to be showing that and also I'm not going to be showing his winter shoes. I'm going to be covering pretty much all his sneakers. But with no further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with Yeezys and then move on to other shoes. Alright, so the first Yeezys that I have here are the Yeezy 350 V2s in the Cora Black Green colorway. And these are my boyfriend's first Yeezys ever and a funny story about these. My boyfriend got really mad because I got the Oreo colorway of the Yeezys. So then he had to go and buy these because he didn't want me to have Yeezys and he wouldn't have any. And uh, these are his most used Yeezys and also these have kept their price pretty well because these go for around 500 euros now if you buy them from new and from StockX or something like that. And these, this colorway is also one of the rarest colorways of the Yeezy 350 V2s. So overall a pretty good investment piece. Then moving on to the next pair, these are the Yeezy 350 V2's Beluga 2.0. These are also a pair that my boyfriend uses a lot. So these are his one of his like daily sneakers. Then moving on to the next one, also with the Zebra print. These are the Yeezy 350 V2's in the blue tint colorway. And these my boyfriend haven't used that much. They are pretty light color and it's a pretty funky color as well but I like how it's like a wintry ice color even though Yeezys aren't really a winter shoe. But then moving on to the next shoe we have the Yeezy 350 V2s in the cream white colorway and these are actually from the second patch. My boyfriend had a pair from the first patch but then he sold those before he got these ones because he wanted a brand new pair and also he sold the old ones in a higher price that he got these ones so that was a pretty good deal and he hasn't worn these yet because it's winter and these are pretty hard to keep clean so these are gonna be a good shoe for their summertime. Next pair I have here is the Yeezy 350 V2s in the sesame colorway and this is one of my favorite colorways of all the Yeezy 350 V2s that they've came out with and these also my boyfriend haven't used yet because it is winter and here in Finland we can't use sneakers really during the winter because it is snowy and really dirty outside but I hope he will wear these a lot because I really like my sesame pair as well. Then I have another 350V2 pair and these are the 350V2s in the aesthetic colorway and these are the non-reflective ones. We had the reflective ones in my size as well, but we sold those. But these are pretty funky, I think, because of the see-through part and all of that and these also haven't been worn just because of the weather and these came out during the winter. And also this shoe is pretty weird in the resale because they came out with the reflective one as well and those were m much rarer than these ones but these have also risen up in the resale value so I don't know if my boyfriend is going to keep these or sell these because he has a lot of 350 V2s. But this was the last pair so Let's move on to Yeezy 500s. These are the blush colorway and this is my favorite colorway and I'm sad that I don't have this colorway but I really like this colorway because it's like a nude, beigey nude so this goes with a lot of things and yeah. Then another Yeezy 500 is the salt colorway and these also haven't been worn yet, they have the tags on and everything because of the weather here in Finland and these came out during the winter. And this colorway is pretty funky because it's like grey but it's still greenish, like blue. I'm not really sure if I like the colorway or not. I feel like this would be pretty hard to match with anything. 
but yeah. My boyfriend originally got two pairs of these because he got a small one and a larger size and he already sold the smaller size because they had a good resale price but the bigger size that he has now they have also gone up in price so I'm not really sure if he's gonna keep these or sell these because he has the blush colorway and these are pretty similar and I feel like the blush is I like the colorway more so yeah don't know what's gonna happen but we'll see about that then the last easy pair that I have here is the easy 700 in the Wave Runner colorway and this is one of my favorite shoes. I like the colorway and I like the fit and everything. The 700s are pretty expensive because the retail price is over 300 euros so it is not a cheap shoe but this pair is definitely a pair that I really like myself. And this pair is also one of my boyfriend's favorite sneakers so he uses these quite a lot. But these were all Yeezys that I have here, and now I'm going to move to other Adidas shoes. Then the next shoe that I'm going to be talking about is the Human Race series. This, the Yeezys and the Human Race shoes are my boyfriend's most used and favorite sneakers. He uses, uses a lot of Adidas sneakers, and this is one of the first pairs that came out that he got and this is one of his favorite colorways and this colorway is pretty nice it says breathe and walk and yeah pretty summery and nice for the summer then another pair of human races these are one of the most used human races that my boyfriend has and these came with this colorway they had three colorways and these my boyfriend haven't used that much, but these also are pretty summery and a special colorway, so those are harder to wear, but this pair is also a pretty nice colorway. Then another human race shoe, and these my boyfriend uses a lot as well. This colorway is my favorite out of the color colors that came out in this, this collab. And yeah, then moving on to the last human race pair that I have, and these are the white ones from the one of the latest releases. This shoe is pretty dangerous because it is all white, and because of the fabric, it's pretty hard to clean. But these ones, my boyfriend haven't used that much because of winter, but I think he's going to be wearing these during the summertime a lot. And also a thing about these shoes, he got these half price which is pretty rare because human races rarely ever go on sale but that was a lucky find. Then moving on to more Adidas shoes and next I have the Dragon Ball Z collection and I'm gonna be very fast with these because I have two videos of those so if you want to know more please check them out. I have them linked down below and then I will put a card up there but the first one are the Goku shoe and this colorway, not my favorite, but yes. Then the Frieza shoe, this colorway and the model Young One is one of my favorites from the collab. Then the Cell shoe, this shoe is also a funky shoe, but a pretty cool colorway. The bottom is pretty hard to clean if thinking practical, but a cool shoe in general. Then we have the Gohan. Don't like the colorway, not a fan of like a vibrant violet. And also the shoe model, not my favorite, but this one. Then Majin Buu. This colorway is really nice, but the shoe model not my favorite at all. Then Vegeta. This is a cool colorway even though it is kind of like a Swedish flag, but yeah, like it even though I don't like the bottom, but this one could be a pair that I would want for myself. Then the Shenron pair. This also pretty vibrant in the colors and the shoe model is pretty nice because it is basically just a sock. And then the last pair, which is the Super Senron, and this colorway is pretty cool because it is golden black. 
and I think my boyfriend will use these quite a lot when the summer comes around. And these also could go with like a more fancier outfit as well. But that was all the Dragon Ball C and Adidas collaboration shoes. I'm not really sure what my boyfriend is going to do with all those shoes because not all of them are sneakers that he likes but he kind of likes the idea that he has the whole collection and that might have a great resale value in the future but yeah we'll see about that and also why he got these shoes originally was because he's been a Dragon Ball Z fan when he was smaller so he wanted to get the whole collection but then the last Adidas pair that I have is these Jeremy Scott and Adidas collaboration shoes. These shoes are pretty rare. I think these are the tall boy shoe called. I'm not really sure. But these are pretty funky. My boyfriend has worn these probably like twice or something. But yeah, these do make a statement. And these are pretty old. These are probably like 10 years old or something like that. Because Jeremy, the, all the Jeremy Scott and Adidas collaboration shoes are pretty old because he hasn't done any collaborations with them in a while. Then let's move to the Nike shoes and a funny fact is that my boyfriend only last year got his first Nike shoes. He's never had any Nike shoes which is pretty funny because I've always liked like a basic Nike shoe and also he ha doesn't have any Jordans in his sneaker collection which is pretty rare because most of the sneaker heads are pretty Nike oriented and also my boyfriend would have probably never gotten Nikes if the off-white and Nike collaboration hadn't have happened because he kind of went mental of that. But let's look at the Nike shoes. Let's start with the most ridiculous shoe of his Nike shoes and these are the uh, Nike Zoom Fly in the black colorway and these are totally see-through from the or the whole shoe is pretty see-through and yeah it is pretty funky shoe also the model the zoom fly i don't really like it and i don't think my boyfriend will be keeping these i think he will sell these but i don't even know why he got them in the first place but he got these in for a good price and the resale value will always be good for off-white and nice shoes. Then the next pair is the neon green colorway of the Air Force Ones. These came just a while ago and I personally don't like the neon colorway that much. It is cool because neon is really in this summer and everything like that, but I do prefer the black one, but this is definitely a cool summer statement piece. And yeah, overall the Air Force One is one of my favorite sneakers from Nike, so yeah. Then from the latest drop of Off-White and Nike are these Air Max 90s. And these my boyfriend actually got just a while ago. And yeah, I really like the black colorway. I have the desert colorway which is here in the back. So we can be matching during the summer. And I think these shoes will be my boyfriend's like go-to black all black shoe and also these shoes are pretty hard to get dirty because of the whole black bottom and everything so this is a pretty nice catch then last of the off-white night collaborations is these converse and off-white shoe i really like this pair i would have wanted these for myself as well but i wasn't lucky enough to get these but yeah really like the bottom and the white canvas and everything like that even though these will be hard to keep clean but a cool shoe in general then the next pair of Nike shoes is kind of a piece of history of the all of sneaker culture pretty much and these are the SB Dunk Diamonds in the Tiffany Blue colorway and these are the first diamond dunks that Nike came out with and these are pretty beaten because these are over 10 years old these came out I think 2005 and my boyfriend found these from a second hand Facebook group 
and yeah if you want to buy these new these cost over a thousand euros today so yeah this was a pretty good find and it's nice because these have been worn so then he can wear these and not just keep as like a trophy in the shelf so yeah this was a pretty nice find and if you want me to do a video of these shoes alone and tell about the history and everything like that let me know in the comments and yeah but then these were all the nice shoes that my boyfriend has so let's move on to the next shoes then i'm gonna go through all the designer shoes that my boyfriend has and let's start with the Balenciaga Triple S. This is a new purchase from my boyfriend and he kind of was jealous of my Triple S's so he had to get his own. And he got the all black colorway just because these are easy to keep clean and yeah, black goes with everything. They came with black laces and I think that looks nicer than the white laces. And he has worn these quite a bit already even though he doesn't really like how big they look on his feet. I've gotten used to how my Balenciagas look on my feet. But yeah, really like this shoe. One of my favorites. Then, next designer shoe is a pair of off-whites. These are the cheapest off-white shoe that off-white has. And I really like the silhouette because it's really simple. And it kind of reminds me of like Vans or any like kind of skateboardy shoe and I really like the bottom and yeah just the simplicity of it and these are one of my boyfriend's most used sneakers he's been using these during the winter too even though they're not really winter shoes and the model of these shoes is Volk and they also have these in a white colorway and red as well then the last designer shoes is from Kenzo and I'm not really sure how to say that, but these are pretty funky. They have like this uh, light blue leather and then they have this like suede black all around and they have kind of a higher platform. And these my boyfriend got second hand and he's been using these here and there. But he didn't pay a lot for these, so these are a pretty cool. And these go with like a nicer outfit as well, so yeah. And my boyfriend had Gucci shoes, but he just sold them, so I there's no Gucci shoes now. Those were pretty much all the hyped and recent purchases, or not that recent, but still like the in or it shoes kind of. And now I'm gonna be moving on to more historic and where my boyfriend got into sneakers and let's start with the Supras. This is the Supra Sky Top and these shoes I remember when we first met or something he was wearing these shoes and he wore these a lot but he doesn't use these that much anymore but this used to be my boyfriend's like go-to shoe all the time. Next pair is these purple pink pair. These are the Sky Top 3s and he had gold pair as well. I like those more. I don't really personally like the colorway but and these are I think originally a women's colorway but in a bigger size. So that's that. And then a, another super shoe. This colorway is pretty funky. It has like these, or it's like neon yellow, which will go pretty well this summer. And then it has these orange like paint splatters all over. And then it has like a turquoise inside, which matches pretty nicely with the yellow. And this shoe is done in collaboration with Lil Wayne. So that's a pretty cool detail. But yeah, pretty funky and big shoe. Then another super shoe is these basic sneakers. These were my boyfriend's like go to go to the grocery shop every day Aaron shoes. So yeah, pretty basic, pretty dirty. And also he had these in black and he wore these or wore those a lot. And then he stepped on dog's poo and then he couldn't wash them so he just threw them away which I think was really funny because 
why wouldn't you just clean the shoe? But yeah, that was a funny story about these shoes. Then the last super pair is these black ones. These he doesn't use that much, even though I think these shoes are pretty cool. These also can go with a more dressy outfit, and these are pretty heavy. And these could go during the winter time as well. And these shoes he has had like for 10 years, I think, or something, or he had these before we even met. So yeah. And these are all leather, so these will last well due time. And those shoes are just some of the shoes that he has left of his super collection. I don't know why he kept those, but those are just, yeah, he hasn't sold those. And those could go with some outfits someday if you want to wear something different. Then moving on to Vance shoes, which my boyfriend has a lot and I'm not going to be showing everything because most of them are pretty beaten, but I will show some of his most used and recent purchases. So here are some of the Vans shoes that are still in pretty good condition. And Vans shoes have been shoes that my boyfriend has pretty much worn since he was born. So uh, yeah, he has a lot of them and most of them are like super beaten. They have like holes in them and everything like that. And he used to wear a lot of slip-ons like the checkered print and everything like that. But here he has this black pair with some cool stitching details and then these are the Star Wars uh, collaboration they have like flowers and then Yoda and the and he also has socks for these shoes as well so they go matching and then these nude ones are pretty beaten as well he uses these a lot if he just wants to wear something basic and then his most recent purchase is the old schools because Old schools are something that you can wear pretty much with anything and they go with everything so yeah. Most of the Vances are from sample sales or something like that because there's usually like three pairs for 90 euros or something like that so it's a pretty cheap shoe if you find the right places to buy them. We have boxes in the storage full of Vances and they are pretty old so we might have to just get rid of them because we have a lot of shoes so yeah. But this was it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you want to know more about a specific shoe model or if you want to see a shoe collection from me. I don't have this many shoes, but I have pretty cool shoes, but not that many. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and also subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!